Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. This is Bandit Reeve. Kill the thing. Thank you. Um, since last time- ooh, that's why I wanted to do that. Since last time, I had to reset the game. Entirely. I had to go all the way to the beginning. So my ruby count is ridiculous. Um, there's a, a bit more to it than just that, unfortunately. I kind of wanted that. Oops. Um, but yeah, I had to download a different emulator in order to play the game. Uh, I didn't have to specifically do this because, uh, it affected- oh, I already have it up. It affected anything, uh, except I was not allowed to use a controller with the other emulator that I was using, which pissed me off because it- in getting back to this point, I think I spent, like, 15 minutes get, getting back here as opposed to, like, however long it took me to do the first six episodes or so. So, yeah. This is infinitely easier. It's way better for me in the long run because I have much more control over how everything is going. I do this every time. I wish there was a way to shut off uh, the music for the Guardian Acorn and the piece of power. Other than zoning screens, obviously. Thank you, Chin Chomp. Alright, so there's one more place I'd like to go to. Chain Chomp is actually super useful. You can get him to travel uh, pretty much anywhere. But there's two sections of the forest I need to explore before giving him back. He does make traveling easier since he one-shots any enemy that you come across. Uh, I went the wrong way, uh, but I didn't want him to attack me. Thank you. Down here? Yeah, down here first. Goodbye. Oh, you'll also notice that I don't have the shovel because, and that's probably why my money is so uh, crazy. As I was speeding through it, um, I didn't remember to go back and get it. So I don't have the shovel. I don't have, um... I didn't say, if you want it? Nope. I don't have the shovel, and I don't have a few other she shells because the shovel gets the she shells pretty much. So I'm gonna... I have run through this quite fast, honestly. Yeah, okay. Yeah, sure, do the thing. Oh, I have to, um, <laughs> remember that the controller is, like, two button select instead of three. Oh, that hurt my eyes. Yeah. So now I have 40 magic powder, which is good because, boy, that comes in handy. I'm going to equip the power glove for now. I'll take that, though. So now I need to go through the cave. There's another piece of heart that we could have gotten. Fucking... Okay. I zone though. It's cool. Yeah, I was gonna say, you're not gonna kill any of those things, are you? Yeah, over here we can get another piece of heart. I didn't even need to go this way, really, to get this one. That is five, though. Um, I will be trying to, like... Oh, right, because if you eat them, they're dead as hell. And I didn't leave the cave. Eh. Anyway. There's uh, a few things you can do uh, with the Chain Chomp specifically, like there's character interactions and stuff, and a place you can reach later on that I don't really care about. Um, fucking god damn it. Why did this come up again? I didn't kill enough enemies. It is by killing enemies, by the way. I don't know if I've... I, if, I recorded four or so episodes, but they all got corrupted. Um, which, if you saw on my Facebook page, I, I detailed a bit. So, it was a nuisance to do all that, but I don't know what I covered and what I hadn't covered. Hey, you get a kiss. You don't really care, but thanks. Anyway, I need to go buy the shovel, because uh, there's... Actually, it's really important that I just get the shovel. Uh, why does grass slow you down, of all things? I need to buy another thing. Bombs are now available. Yeah, I'll buy it. 
I'm gonna buy some bombs. So I'm gonna buy 20 bombs because I don't I don't think I've ever really needed to buy more than that. And then my next goal is to get the bow because I do need it for specific shit. Um, and I'll explain other things we can do in the village right now, but until then, I want to equip the shovel. And yeah, there's the secret seashell. I, I forget, can you, can you dig this up? No, you can't, okay. There's a Bow Wow interaction in there, but I don't want to do it. Specifically because there's a very optional, and by optional I mean like you never really need to do this. It's exclusive to the Game Boy Color version of Link's Awakening, uh, which is DX, the one that I'm currently playing. And I die. Uh, that basically allows you to take pictures in the game. Now, there are two of these that I'm going to miss just because I don't want to do it. I want to kind of do it all at once. Uh, and, you know, one of them is coming up immediately, and one of them, I just... I would die if I got it, so I can't do that. You. Uh, I actually, like, 15 minutes ago just did this dungeon. Money is still important. There's gonna be a point where I, I stop caring about getting it, but... Now that we have bombs, we get into this room. Bombs. Blop. It's too bad you can't shark fuse bombs like you can in, uh... Well, pretty much every Zelda game after this. I think you, you can do it in Oracle of Ages and Seasons, which I do want to do... Uh, soon, rather. I don't know if they're gonna be immediately after Link's Awakening, but they are, you know, gonna appear relatively... relatively soon. I don't need to do anything in this dungeon, though, so I'm gone. I'll meet you back back at the port, uh, village. So, be right back. Came back at the village. Um, the other thing that I would love to point out, because I think it's hilarious, I didn't die one time, or even come close to dying, really. Uh, when I redid this with a controller. Like, it is far easier to change directions, uh, and fucking swing your sword in general. So, over here, we have the Dream Dungeon, which I don't want to enter yet. It is a good way of making money, but I don't technically need it right now. Um, uh, ooh, and there's, the, there's one other thing I need to do that I forgot to do just now while I was out. So I will meet you back at, uh, where is it? Am I gonna have to go that way anyway? No, I don't think so. I'll meet you back at, uh, the potion shop, or the witch's hut. There you go. Be right back. Okay, I'm back at the witch's hut. Uh, I don't want to go here, but this is a good reference point, because everyone knows how to get here for now. Uh, all the way up here, to the north, is this. Which we couldn't enter before, because it didn't have a power bracelet. Here we go. Talk to- oh, B. Uh, Crazy Tracy. Okay. 28 rupees? Yes. So virtually, what the secret medicine does is it allows you to virtually die once and get away with it. It's like a fairy. Except, you know, without the imprisonment of small woodland creatures. So take that however you will. But at any rate, there was also another cave I... See, when I record when I don't have notes, or when I forget to pick up my notes, then I end up running around without needing to... I'm full on hearts, fuck that shit. Yeah, I forgot that this was also a place I could enter before. Or I couldn't enter before. Fucking... Leave my shit alone. Not that it matters, because he can't do it. I got, uh, water. Good. What? Do I sound like, um, like... Okay. At any rate, that's... Once I kill you. Oh, uh, crap. There you go. That's all for this is on Let's Play Legend of Zelda. Link's Awakening. I'll meet you back at the village so we can actually go to the prairie at this point, because I have backtracked a considerable amount. So, that's all for this edition of Let's Play Link's Awakening. This is Bennett Ryu. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.